Here we go again. Manchester United could sign these nine players if Omar Barada transfer reports are believed. Manchester United are preparing for a busy summer transfer window that will see a major revamp of their underperforming squad. Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos have taken over football operations at Old Trafford after their arrival in February. Ratcliffe has already begun looking at all manners behind the scenes, with cost-cutting in some areas having already begun. United have appointed Omar Barada from rivals Manchester City, and he is due to start work in July after his period of gardening leave has expired. They are still in negotiations with Newcastle United over sporting director Dan Ashworth, but Jason Wilcox has already joined the club and has been in regular dialogue with manager Eric Ten Hag as he carries out an audit. Barada's influence will be keenly felt when he officially joins as chief executive on July 13th, and the Manchester Evening News reported last month that he has already started driving change at Old Trafford. He was the first key appointment made by the Ineos group, with Ratcliffe saying, We had a very grown-up conversation with Manchester City about Omar. They were very, very disappointed in Omar's decision. Barada's job will not be to tell the club how to spend their money or which players to target, but he will be in charge of enforcing their negotiating power and ensuring that United do not overpay for players. It will likely be up to him to evaluate the value of a prospective new signing and ensure that United stick to their principles and are not taken advantage of by overpaying for individuals. The Manchester Evening News Sport revealed that only four players are not for sale, with three core signings required. A centre-back, a central midfielder and a forward to enhance the starting team, with any other additions dependent on outgoings as the squad is rebuilt. With several players set to leave this summer, it could be a busy time for Barada and Wilcox, the club's new technical director. One look at the volume of transfer links doing the rounds shows the challenges they face. Here we round up the main transfer links and look at the odds of United bringing them into Old Trafford this summer. The first one is Jared Branthwaite. The Everton defender is a firm target for United. He's been scouted heavily as he continues his emergence, and with United actively looking for a center half this summer, he's one of the men high on the shopping list. Skybet have his odds at 5-6 to move to Old Trafford this summer. He could cost 75 millions of pounds, which may be a stumbling block as Barada looks for value for money, but Everton Chiefs have confirmed they need to sell players this summer so he could come cheaper. Second one is Glyson Bremer. Another centre-half who the Manchester Evening News confirmed is on the radar. The Juventus stopper has had an excellent season, is good in the air, and is physically fit and imposing. A strong candidate. The third one is Joao Neves. The 19-year-old defensive midfielder has been linked with United for months. Benfica put out a statement in January, saying they weren't in negotiations over selling him to United, but the club are still understood to be interested in him. With a release clause of 86 millions of pounds, it would be a huge expense, but they need a replacement for Casemiro this summer. The fourth one is Bruno Guimaraes. His tears at full time at Newcastle United's game on Saturday got Toon fans worrying that he may have played his last game in black and white at St. James's Park. The midfielder is dynamic either as a number six or number eight, and has plenty of suitors, including City, Arsenal and PSG, with a 100 millions of pounds release clause, which can be activated in June. Skybet have him at chance of 12-1 to sign for United. The fifth one is Kiernan Dewsbury Hall. The Leicester City midfielder has had a fantastic season with the Foxes, helping them back up to the Premier League at the first time of asking. Despite their promotion, Leicester still have a few financial difficulties and could be forced to cash in on their biggest asset. Dewsbury Hall is priced at 6-1 with Skybet to join United this summer. The sixth one is Michael O'Lease. Absolutely tore United apart last Monday night at Selhurst Park. Two goals and a dazzling performance on the right side of Palace's potent three-man attack has been long linked with a move to United and is believed to have a release clause in his contract of between 50 millions to 60 millions of pounds, produced another stunning performance yesterday to give a reminder of his talents. Skybet have him almost nailed on at 11.10 to join United. The seventh one is Pedro Nato. A bit more of a wild card, Nato has had a great season with Wolves but doubts remain over his fitness record. Hamstring injuries have plagued the forward, 
but he's certainly someone being watched by a number of Premier League clubs, including Arsenal and Newcastle, who were recommended him by Dan Ashworth. He's 9-2 with Skybet to sign for Man United. The eighth one is Edmund Tapsoba. Bayer Leverkusen defender Edmund Tapsoba, along with right-back Jeremy Frimpong, has been shortlisted as a potential defensive reinforcement by United. Leverkusen are unbeaten in all competitions this season, having romped to the Bundesliga title, and 25-year-old centre-back Tapsoba has been a key part of the meanest defence in the German top flight. He remains a strong contender to help shore up United's defence. The last one is Joshua Xerxy. With the ineffective Anthony Marshall finally set to leave Old Trafford this summer, United may need a central striker to add competition to the youthful Rasmus Hodgland. Ivan Toney is set to leave Brentford after Euro 2024 and is 13-2 with Paddy Power to join United. However, he comes with a hefty price tag, so United may be forced to look elsewhere with links to Bologna's former Bayern Munich forward Joshua Xerxy, who has had an outstanding breakthrough season in Serie A and is also attracting attention from Arsenal and Juventus. On the other side, unemployed David De Gea spotted training in Man United kit as goalkeepers search for new club drags on. Free agent David De Gea posted a video of himself training in a Manchester United kit as his search for a new club continues. The 33-year-old has been without a club since United released him last July, with Andre Onana replacing the Spanish international after 12 seasons at Old Trafford. While the former Atletico Madrid star is still a free agent, he is keeping himself in shape just in case an opportunity comes his way. So, what David De Gea said, in an Instagram story, De Gea, who was on 375,000 of pounds a week wages at Old Trafford before departing the club, can be seen doing shot stopping and reflexes drills with three coaches and attach the words, work, work, work. While it seems De Gea's career is on a downward trajectory, he has had offers to return to the sport. The veteran caught the attention of Newcastle United in December, following Nick Pope's long-term injury, but he would have had to have taken a wage cut. He also turned down the chance to play for Nottingham Forest in January, but if he stays away too long, it could hurt his game. It seems he is content to bide his time and wait for the perfect opportunity. The 6 ift four-in goalkeeper, who has been linked with a return to La Liga and a Saudi Pro League transfer, will hope to find a new team soon, with the free agent able to sign for any club at any time. On the other side, Inter Milan would consider a swap deal between Denzel Dumfries and Aaron Juan Bissaka with Man United. This according to Italian news outlet. The outlet anticipate that Dumfries would be willing to leave the Nerazzurri this summer, but only for another big club. At the moment, Dumfries is a player whose future at Inter is very much up in the air. The Dutchman is currently only under contract with the Nerazzurri until the end of June 2025. According to Fabrizio Romano, Dumfries would be willing to move to a new club this summer. However, the Dutchman would only want to join a club that he considers to be at the same level as Inter. At the moment, there are no suitors among Europe's top clubs. That could certainly be an issue for Inter should they decide to try and sell Dumfries. It would also create an impetus for the Nerazzurri to try and move contract talks with the 28-year-old forward. To date, there have been some negotiations. But the situation remains that Inter haven't made an offer high enough to meet Dumfries' demands. However, there could be an exit route for Dumfries. FCIN 1908 report that Manchester United would potentially consider the Dutchman a target. However, this could be heavily dependent on Eric Ten Hag staying on as coach at Old Trafford. Given the Red Devils' poor recent run of form, that is looking less and less likely. But one route to United for Dumfries could be a swap deal involving Juan Bissaka. Fabrizio Romano confirm that Inter would view Juan Bissaka as a prospective target. Despite the fact that the former Crystal Palace man only has experience playing in a back four, the Nerazzurri believe he could play the wing-back role very well. Therefore, if United were to make an offer involving Juan Bissaka, Inter would be potentially interested.